Okay, this video is to help uh, show you uh, today's assignment um, and to clarify something I was a little bit unclear um, on this sheet. So what you needed to do here is you needed to take the six, here, hold on, sorry. You need to take the six and you needed to multiply it by 10 for the first one. And I did the first one for you. So you can see six times 10 is 60. Um, and you see how the six moves over one place value when you multiply it by 10. Then on the second one, I wanted you to multiply again the six by 100. Um, so some of you may have done the 60 by 100 and therefore you got 6,000. And I understand why you did that. And that was my fault because I was unclear about that. But I wanted you to do 100 or 6 times 100. So then that would have been 600. Um, and you can see that when you multiply the 6 times 100, then it moves over 2 rows um, to the left, two um, columns to the left. And then you were supposed to do the same thing for the 40. So if I have 40 times 10, you know the 4 is going to move over one space to the left, and then we have 400. And then if we do 40 again times 100, then it's going to move twice. So we have 4,000. Let me thicken my pen a little bit. All right. And then let's look at the next one. Okay, now when we get to decimals, the rules still apply with the digit. So the digit seven, so even though it's seven tenths over here, if I multiply it by 10, we, we know that the digit 7 is going to move over one space to the left. So it's going to end up here in the ones place. Now, you could put a 0 over here if you wanted to, but you don't need to because 7 ones equals 7. And so you're actually just done. The answer is 7. Now, again, we're not doing 100 times 7 now. We're actually doing 100 times 7 tenths again. So 100 times 7 tenths that same 7 is going to move over two place values. So it's going to go 1, 2. So we have 7 here, which in the 1's place we're going to put a 0. So 7 tenths times 100 turns out to be 70. And in the last one, we have 9 hundredths times 10. Now, all you, again... Nine hundredths, that's because the nine is in the hundredths place. So um, not hundreds, but hundredths. So we have to multiply the nine hundredths times ten. So the nine's going to move over one space, and you have nine tenths for your answer. Now, whenever you have a decimal for your answer, um, I always like to put a zero in the ones place because that's the way they always print it out in textbooks and everything. It's good to recognize it. If I have the 9 times 100, then the 9, again, is going to move two spaces to the left. So it's going to end up in the 1's place. So 9 hundredths times 100 equals 9. And that's what your answer should look like for tonight's homework. And now you know why.